your grinders away. We're talking executive, chief executive recalibration today. Well, what do you do when a big, fat, lazy, lying, orange sack of maggot jizz plops himself down inside of our White House and goes about ruining the country and the rest of the planet? Now hold on, I know what you're thinking. Remember, that fella is very well protected and Mr. Clean waiting in the wings might turn out to be even a whole lot worse. Besides, immoral and totally impractical. Now, what you want to do is approach this legally. That's right, I'm talking impeachment. Now hold on, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking hells, bells, and double barrel shotgun shells, Hervey. I am no constitutional scholar slash lawyer. Well, they are a highly educated, highly specialized group of individuals, but you don't have to be if you just follow their simple Hervey the Homemaker Guide to Impeachment Inspiration. And to be perfectly honest, I didn't come up with this formula. It's as old as our republic. That's right, I'm talking about writing letters to your local paper, I'm talking about writing letters and making phone calls to your legislators, and whenever there's any kind of protest against that guy in the White House, or some lame brain jackass appointment he made, or some even more lame brain jackass policy he's laying down, you show up at that protest and you let him be known that this is a democracy and them fascists are not going to take it away from us. Until next time, this is Herbie the Homemaker saying,